Hi, this is Jason at Navrock Marine Electronics in Rockland, Maine. Today we're on a boat hooking up a satellite compass, the Furno SCX20, which I have the NMEA cable for here. It's going to our computer, the Navrock M7. We've got to hook up a USB to NMEA 2000 adapter and a new NMEA 2000 network to do the uh, pretty easy stuff. And we've also got a Fruno DFF3D to hook up. Um, the boat yard that installed the transducer has mounted it for us, so we've got to get it going with the computer. Here's the NME 2000 from the satellite compass. I like to put a bit of dielectric grease on all the connections. And that can go into our new NME 2000 bus. We're going to hook the ActiSense NME 2000 adapter up to the uh, NME 2000 bus as well. So I'm just getting the wires in place for that. Here's the USB for the AccuSense, that will be greased, and we'll plug that into the computer. Any of the USB locations will do. Now we're going to hook up an Ethernet cable to the Furno DFF3D. I like to grease these as well before I hook them up. I carry different lengths of Ethernet cable for different length runs, so there's no sense to have a whole bunch coiled up. I'm going to grease that and put it in the computer. Um, there's a jack label with Runo, and that's where that's going to go in. And there's only one place it will go on the DFF3D. Alright, since I sold this equipment and someone else has wired it up, I'm going to just double check and make sure things are wired and set according to the way they're supposed to be. Before we do this, I'm going to turn off the power.
heard it click, that's a good sign. Now we'll put that bushing back together. The ActiSense does not have drivers with it, so you have to download those ahead of time. I've got those on a USB drive here, so we'll install those. We also installed the SC settings tool that lets us configure the satellite compass to make sure it has a good signals. Now that we're in time zero, we've got to configure the software to use the satellite compass instead of the built-in GPS. We can use a connection wizard for that. The satellite compass came up as COM11, so, but, but actually we can add and configure an MEA2000 connection. And time Zero is listening to that NMEA2000 connection right now to see what it can pick up for data. It will show us just shortly here. Okay, here's what it found. We'll click on NMEA2000. It found position, date and time. Course over ground, speed over ground, heading, magnetic variation, atmospheric pressure, air temperature, and attitude, which is pitch roll and heaving. We'll hit next, next, and finish. And that's exactly how our boat is at the dock here, so that's good. Alright, now that we've installed the DFF3D uh, in time zero, we can make sure it's registered by going to about time zero. DFF 3D module is enabled. Because we're connected to Wi Fi, it automatically phoned home to Double Tech and determined that it can use DFF 3D and now it can use it forever without Wi Fi. Added a new item up here automatically, section, which is a view of the bottom under the boat. We can zoom in, click on here and see the depth. We can zoom in and out to see the range. Also, up here we can add. Take a single screen, we've gotten some new things here, we've got water column, side scan, multi-sounder, and section, we already got a section up there, so let's make a multi-sounder. And here's left, right, and center under the boat, three different sounders. So the, the multi-beam elements working together to simulate left, right, and center sounders under the boat. As you can see, there's a little object right here. It shows up on the left and center, but not on the right. And it shows up strongest on the left, so probably that thing in the water is on the left side of the boat. I'm going to go up here and add another one. I will do a water column this time. This is good if you're looking for fish. Um, they'll, they'll show up between the boat and the bottom. I'm going to add one more up here to the side scan. And this is basically like uh, two sounders rotated 90 degrees. On a normal sounder, this would be the top of the screen showing the surface, and going downwards would show the bottom. What we're seeing here is a view to the left and to the right um, sides of the boat. And this is the water under the boat. This is the bottom under the boat. And as time goes by, it goes behind you just like a sounder. Um, slides to the right as the time goes by. Um, it's just another way to look at the bottom.